We're ready. We're ready to do this now. We have got um, our core today. It's going to be 50 reach throughs, which, ooh, I'm shocked I didn't grab something different than this, but okay. 50 reach throughs. I will try it with this. Hopefully, not mess up my tail end. And then 50 curl kicks. I've got a very bony, 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 bony way to tell. Do those 50 reach throughs, 50 curl kicks. Let's break it down a little bit different today and let's do 25 of each and then back again, okay? So 25 reach through to begin with. Three, you could be doing, I guess, cherry pickers, but coming all the way back and all the way into it and really focusing on the tightness if you don't want to come down to the mat, okay? Three, two, one, one. Got that tray. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take ten slow, okay? One, build a curl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Pause for a second. We have five more to do. Five more. Are ready for this? Three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Really slow. Five. All right. Curl kicks. If you don't want it to be on the mat again, you can just be curling, putting hanging one leg at a time, obviously, because if you're standing, you can't do both. Bring them up and kick it out. If you have bars, you pull up on the bars and do it that way, too. That would be a really killer one. All right. So I keep forgetting to bring my bars out the night before because they're in my bedroom. So. Curl kicks, come up if you want to, or stay down. Either way, three, two, one, curl it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow it down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever speed you want to. One, two, three, slowing down, four, and five. <sighs> Whew. My core is burning. I don't know about you. You're focusing on it. You should be feeling it. We're halfway through. We gotta do 25 more reach throughs now, okay? Three, two, one, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm already going kind of slow, so I'm just going to keep on going. Eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. It's like pause, I have more to go. It's like pause. I feel all up in here. It's like, oh, it's a tie hurts. Okay, five more. Ready for it? Three, two, oh, one. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Oh, there we go. Okay, curl crunch time. Ready for that. We got 25 of those to do now. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, ooh, three, two, one. We still have five more to go. Oh, feel the burn, definitely. Three, two, taking it slow. One, one, two, three, four. Five. Whew. All right. It's time for that plank hold. My core's like, really? Seriously? You just did this. Whew. We could do it. This one's a little bit longer than some of our other ones. But that's okay. When you're in that plank, remember, draw your shoulders back and down. You hold the plank. Shoulders get drawn back and down. Go from one side to the other as needed. I didn't give myself a three zero five, so I'm gonna give myself a three, so we're gonna come on up and then I'll hit start. So arms are under us. We are going to lift yourself up, push yourself back, and we are in it. A three minute plank. Anytime you need to, you just go from one side to the next to give yourself a little bit of a break. Key is to try to stay in some form of a forearm plank the entire time. If you need to, you push back also like this to dolphin and come back again. Whatever you want to do, still essentially still in the in the in it, you're just moving your body back a little bit. Yesterday I had a um training, I was supposed to help somebody with their cookbooks file and got over there to help them out. Thought it was gonna be about three hours, it ended up being over five hours. So this is safe. By the time I got back to the office, I was hungry. I was like, oh my gosh, where's the food? I need food. But I got through all that. And I got a client's done. I got two clients done in the morning before even going to do that. And I got payrolls done yesterday. And I fixed some 1099s that were processed that needed to get be reprocessed. So I didn't get everything I needed to do done, but I got quite a bit done yesterday. So it was a oh, it was a pretty good day. I need to regroup today, kind of refocus on what I have to do. See where everything stands at my office because when it becomes a disarray around you, it's harder to stay focused and you tend to be more of a disarray. So in order for me to be focused and really accomplish stuff, I have to have an organized office. And right now my desk is not organized. So when I first get to the office, I'm going to change out the battery backup for the server so I can bring down the server and everything, change it out, bring it up. Then I have to turn around and 
Um, why did she have already? Wow. Um, hold on. There's no preparer for tournament counting. There is no preparer that is the turnout accounting. That is only initial input, period. You must be the preparer on this one. Yes, it was easier to respond that way than it was to do it the other way. I gotta tell her one more thing now. You would message any issues to let me just put her name in her this way, because it's spelled differently. And I. Okay. Yes, we start early. Normally I'm at the office that is. Right now I'm trying to get my workouts in. And we're at 10 seconds. You see, sidetrack myself. I have message from work. <laughs> and got in there. Two, one, and done. Hitting the little stop button, coming on down, and pushing it back. Oh, come on up. It's not sleepy time, but that stretch felt good. So again, don't forget to work the core up each day. Do something, this core foundation keeps everything going. It keeps us moving on so we can keep checking it off and getting it done. <laughs>